everyone, this is Tamara Berman with our Community Spotlight. I am here in Woodstock at a annual event that uh, takes place here um, in actually in two private homes. And um, this year's event is called Home is Where the Art Is, which I love that. And I am here with Kathy and Emily. And they have been hosting this event for how long? Five years. Five years. They literally open up their own homes and they host local artists and all of the artists show all of their art to the public. And it's so warm. I can't even describe to you how warm it is. There's food and just little appetizers and things. And then all the local artists. So, so you, I'm doing a terrible job with this. You guys tell, <laughs> you guys describe your event, please. Well, I can tell you, it, it's really funny. Emily and I are very dear friends. We share a driveway <laughs> and uh, Emily has a reflexology business in her house. And I just seem to have lots of people all the time in my house. And um, we just really love people and we love art and we love mm -hmm. artists. And we just got this idea that wouldn't it be nice to give them a step up and uh, offer something where they didn't have to pay a table fee uh, and people could come and buy their art and they wouldn't have to uh, and, and people that come wouldn't have to pay anything so it's just kind of a win-win and all we had to do was clean our house right <laughs> it definitely gets my house clean <laughs> and it's a beautiful annual event and it's a really lovely way to stay connected to the greater community and to offer a venue for people who don't really have money to put out there to, as Kathy said, um, buy a table space or rent a space to sell their art. So people in their homes are knitting, watching TV and crafting and scrapbooking. And these things are very meaningful and homey and yet with no place to express and share with the greater community. So for Kathy and I to open our homes, to have a place and space for people to share their loves and joys through their artistic creation and expression is so filling for us to do. And I think that people look forward to it every year. It's making connections greater than us. And for me, it's like a Thanksgiving because we always have it right around the Thanksgiving holiday. And before the, the holidays get chaotic and busy, busy, we can really reflect in gratitude with others and appreciation for the year that's passed and how quickly it goes by. Yeah. And for me, um, I'm not an artist, but my all my family is. So to be able to offer something because uh, this is a big generalization, but artists aren't always great marketers. <laughs> so I want to market for them. I want to let the, the world around Woodstock and Crystal Lake know that there's these great people there. Stuff may not be in a shop anywhere, but they can come here and, I mean, people go, walk out with bags of yeah. like, yay, my Christmas shopping's done. And, and they're unique items. And yeah. They're very unique mm -hmm. items. Yes. So it's, it's just a lovely, lovely event. We love doing it. Well, Emily and Kathy, thank you so much for graciously doing this Art Community Spotlight with me. I so appreciate it. And I love doing these types of things that are unique to each of our little towns. Yeah, and so I, I feel like Woodstock is an emporium for interesting events like this. So it's great. So home, our home is where the art is. It is an annual event. Always the Sunday before Thanksgiving. Good yeah. information. So mark your calendars for next year and come on out and say hi to Emily and Kathy as I cannot tell you how many people just since we've been filming this have tried to do so it's a really really warm environment and uh, just a really unique invite really unique uh, opportunity so um, I hope that uh, you mark your calendars and join Emily and Kathy next year here in Woodstock thank you mm -hmm.